this video is a intro to shading uh, basic forms after you've um, practiced drawing the sphere um, we're going to go over in this video shading a cone a cylinder and a cube and a brief review of the sphere so i'm going to begin with the cone so make sure you have a sharpened pencil handy um, and a kneaded eraser and uh, I do recommend having like a little scrap piece of paper, like a card or something that can help us. And um, you can use that to begin very lightly drawing a horizon. It does not have to be very dark at all. So I'm using uh, my sketchbook paper, but I've turned it horizontally to draw it. So, uh, what I began with with a cone is I tell students to begin with a smiley face curve, okay? So um, this is an elliptical object, meaning it has a round base. So whether it's a teapot, a candlestick, anything that has a round base, um, like a salt shaker, always starts with smiley face curve, okay? Very, very, very important. So the next thing that I suggest when drawing a cone is, you know, finding the center and drawing up a dot. Now you can use your ruler or any sort of straight edge for this. And um, I put my pencil, make sure it's lined up with the dot, and then I make sure it's lined up with the corner of the smiley face, and then I draw the edges. Now, we don't want them to be too dark because elimination of outline is one of our big goals. So maybe that will be our shadow side and this will be our light side. So I will remove any stray marks that are interfering with my object. Now what I do like to do, um, let's say my light source is coming from this side and draw a little fake lamp here is shining out, okay, um, or flashlight. So this will be my dark edge. So what I can do is um, line up my scrap piece of paper and I can apply a little bit more pressure because we're, again, we're, we're practicing pencil pressure and value. So the one thing about the cone is that you don't want the um, value to just come down at a weird angle going diagonal and leave this little corner of light or side you need to recognize that it it fans out okay so if we were going to fan this if i was going to draw directional lines that's where the shading would go okay and I'm, I'm putting those lines in there to show you that the shape of the shadow okay because we do shade in uh, small circles okay so let's smooth that out and if um it's too dark we'll erase it so again, pencil pressure with value shading. Very important. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these demonstration marks. So I was able to achieve a nice smooth edge there by applying my card. So that's just a little trick to keep your work space neat. We're creating the illusion of form here. We're learning how to use the graphite pencil and creating smooth value transition. So for your lightest value, your pencil, remember, is just hovering above the page.
Now uh, we do need to put in our cast shadow. If the light is um, you know, coming from this angle out, we want to practice putting in our shadow. So at the base, maybe a little bit darker. We don't wanna lose our smiley face curve. Maybe a little bit darker right around the edge but then it will progressively fade out lighter. So shadow angles do take a little bit of practice and experiment. Okay, so next I'm going to put in a cylinder. And again, since it's an elliptical based object, I'm going to start off with the smiley face curve. Now the trick to the um, success of a cylinder is to have parallel sides and match this curve to the top curve. So this may take, you know, a couple tries, just kind of use guess and check method um, use a straight edge, it's important. All right, get rid of any stray lines. Okay, we're gonna begin with the contour of the cylinder. And um, again, light source is coming from this side, so I'll just lighten up this edge a little bit. If your light source was coming from the front, then you would have dark edges. Just depends on where your light source is coming from. So again, I'm gonna start off with um, this dark edge, and I feel like this line is not completely parallel. I like the top better than the bottom, so I'm gonna fix that. Take your time to perfect your forms. Okay.
So again, elimination of outline is very important. Okay, so for our light source, we can use our card and our ink, measure our angle or mark our angle. Oftentimes, the base of the cast shadow is the darkest part of the whole drawing and then it fades out. Okay, so next we're gonna put in our cube and I'm gonna use my card for this. I want it to be a certain size. Um, if I want it to be equal, I would wanna measure. So let's see how many centimeters this is. About four centimeters. So then I would want it to be four centimeters on this side, okay? So, Um, we can do a one point perspective cube, we can do a two point perspective cube, but this is a one point perspective cube. So um, considering the uh, light is coming from this way, if I draw my sides, my parallel sides going towards the light source. Really, this is one point perspective, so we are making up a vanishing point here. But we're not using the vanishing point, so that could cause some issues. It's a small piece of paper. So the trick to getting this side correct is matching this value. I mean, not value, I'm sorry. <laughs> matching this parallel line.
this line needs to be parallel with this line and then the front facing side has to be parallel with the back facing side so what I've determined here is um, that I think this side needs to be longer to meet the needs of that Okay, so for our cube, we're gonna practice the light source being on this side. So if I pick three sides, you know, this could be light, this would be medium, this would be dark. So I want to eliminate my outlines. Now, um, just because it's the front dark side doesn't mean that the whole thing has to be entirely dark. We could um, emphasize the darkness on the corners or just the edge and then it can fade off because remember light does reflect off the surface so from the bottom going to the top. Maybe this is the darkest corner. Gotta watch out for smearing. You can touch up smudges as you go. So for, um, I'm still not done with the top of this, but a uh, cast shadow, I do feel like we need to put in a cast shadow for the cube. So again, the base is a little bit darker and it fades out. And we're just trying to match the shadow form.
again, this is just practice. We will do this again a little bit later with an actual image with real lighting. This is based on theory. Okay, so here we have our cone, our cylinder, and our cube. And um, if we want to revisit sphere drawing, we can practice doing a small circle. It's going to be a small sphere. Same light source. Begin with our smiley face curve, going all the way around. Just kind of complementing the shape of the highlight. Kind of looks like I need to sharpen my pencil. Okay, so we are finished with our practice for our basic forms, and we will do a drawing later on using an image. And just keep this as practice and notes in your sketchbook. Don't forget to put your name in the corner.